<clears throat> my camera is just they decided it's having issues with the card anyway do any of you ever just decide or think randomly that hmm I'm gonna do something that really has no reason to be done you see this light up here this is a fluorescent light that's the one that I use when making videos or well really just a light when I turn it on it starts up like this it's rapid start and I've randomly decided that I'm gonna put a new ballast in here this one right here it's a General Electric bonus line ballast I had laying around I have if anyone's never seen these boxes of ballast I mean literally boxes of these things those are all magnetic these are all electronic these boxes especially this one extremely heavy anyway I'm gonna change the ballast in here why because I want it to be preheat and I'm bored and I've been saying I was gonna do this for a while and this ballast is really you can't tell but runs this lamp really weakly so unmounting this lamp is easy I've got it held up with some twisted copper wire I don't want to drop it but we're just gonna pull it down now get it down there we go and here's the lamp or fixture that would be these are two brand new lamps here if anyone was interested when I first got this one I was afraid it lost vacuum but it hadn't it's just got a defect in it and they both match but here's the box that they came in F20 T12 and this light really sucks up the battery life that's already bad on my thing here this fixture I had to uh, replace let's see those are cardboard that tombstone right there so if you're interested how to open one of these you just kind of squeeze it, pop it off of these guys. It's hard to do with one hand, but you just kind of squeeze it and pop it off. And the cover should just come off like so. Here's the ballast that's in here. I'm imagining this is from the 90s or early 2000s. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and remove that. It is warm, not hot. The new ballast is long, longer, but most fixtures, oops, have fittings. This is a low power factor ballast, but if you look, I can mount it there, and then they normally have areas to mount a high power factor ballast, and that is it. Most fixtures have revisions for both. A high power factor ballast basically means that this is going to drive the tubes harder than this one does, which means we'll have more light output, but the lamp, the lamps, I'm calling these lamps because that's what they're called, but tubes, whatever. Um, low power factor ballast, the lamps will last longer. High power factor ballast, they will put out more light, but they will have about three quarters of the life, roughly. So, I'm going to... Just simply cut the wires to where I have enough room to work with, but I also still have enough room so I can reuse this ballast because this is a still a good ballast. And we will be right back. Okay, so I got my little 62 cent lamp here. I got the old ballast removed, and if anyone was interested, here's how it wires up standard pre or uh, rapid start. There's your information on that one. And here's this guy. This ballast is actually pretty close to new old stock. When I got it, it was new old stock. I used it for 
maybe a month, removed it from the fixture, and forgot about it. However, it has been sitting outside, exposed to direct water. Uh, actually sitting down in the dirt. feel kind of bad about that, I just kind of forgot it existed. But it's been drying, it's been sitting inside here for probably almost a year now. So as you'll see, you can see that screw hole will mount up there. It matches up with that hole. And then this one will match up with that hole just fine. I can either move the grounding screw or hell just leave it there. I'll go ahead and cut these free and I've searched a wiring diagram here if anyone's interested. This is how this will wire up. And I have a starter socket. I got another one somewhere. I gotta find it. When I have these two FS2 starters. Actually, one's an FS25, the one's an FS2. If somebody could explain the difference between FS2, FS22, and FS25. FS2, FS22, and FS25. Yeah, that's right. If someone could explain the difference between those, because they, they, they all seem to work interchangeably. I've tried it. I understand that an FS25 is for 18, 20, 25. Uh, FS2 is for 15, 20, 14, 15, and 20. And uh, FS, FS22 is for... 22 watt circle line lamps, but they seem to all work interchangeably. I've tried them. So if someone could explain to me why there's different varieties there, that would be great. Uh, I'll go ahead and wire this ballast up and we'll be right back. Um, my camera's dying. So as I'm wiring things up here, I got everything going as it says it's supposed to. Then I get to here, and I get confused because it says starter here. So the yellow wire is going to go to the starter that goes to that socket. And then there's the black wire. But what about this white wire? It's not on here. So I go to here, and it's not just my diagram. There's nothing there for the white wire. So I'm assuming this white wire, since it's white, is supposed to go to neutral. We'll figure that out when we apply power and see if it explodes. But white normally means neutral. So I'm going to hook the white up to the neutral wire and hopefully we don't fry nothing. Okay, a couple things to note. This ballast has aluminum wire, not copper. And it's, uh, shit, what am I saying? It's, uh, stranded. It's not solid. Anyway, another thing. I lost my, st I couldn't find a starter socket. I have one, but not the other. So right now I just got this tied around here until I can get a star starter socket. That should work. This is the FS25 starter. And I got the one wired up, so I'm just we're gonna see if we can't, if this one won't work. Look at that. Oh wow, that's bright. There we go. So that one's working. Now we just have to uh wire up the other one. Okay, so I have the other one presumably wired up here. I have the starter socket on this one. Uh, so I'm going to put the starter in there. This is this old General Electric FS2 starter. Very old neon starter, actually. Right, put this down for one second to get that in there. And uh, neon starters are different because they glow orange instead of purple. That's the only difference. Now, they have neon gas in them instead of argon, obviously. I'm going to fire this up with the one lamp in there so we can see how it works, if it works. And then we'll put them both in there and see how they both work. So let's fire it up. Three, two, one, smoke test. And we've got nothing. I done did something wrong. Seriously? I really done did something wrong. Okay. Let's try to track down what I did. 
Uh, coming out of the ballast, we have red and yellow going into this socket. Coming out of the ballast, we have yellow wire going to starter, yellow wire coming out of starter going into there. Uh, this end of the lamp, we have negative going to negative. Of course, that's uh, neutral, not negative, neutral. And uh, so it should, it should be working. Not too sure why it isn't. Let me, I've wiggled the starter some. Maybe it was loose in the socket. Let's give that, give it another go. Oh, okay. The starter wasn't making a good contact. Cool. All right. So now let's put both lamps in there and see how it looks with both of them. Okay, both lamps are installed. I've got this starter just hanging there, of course. And let's go ahead and turn it on. These are both the same lamps. This one has an old neon uh, FS2 starter. This one has the Argon FS25. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Three, two, one. Awesome. Let's do that a couple more times. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and button it up, and we'll be back. Okay, so this is messy, but it, it does work. This fixture really has nowhere to mount. Starter sockets being originally rapid start, no revisions for preheat, because it was never planned to be preheat. Another thing I just thought of is, is this ballast going to fit under this cover? The old one was shorter. I hope it does. If not... I guess I'm running this thing without a cover because I'm not putting that other one back in there after I did all this work. Okay. So, I'm just putting these starters. This is very hard with one hand and you're not even seeing anything. I'm just putting these, uh, damn it. I'm just putting these starters uh, in there. Okay, this is this is a highly aggravating task putting on this cover. But it appears that the ballast is going to fit under there. I'm going to find another starter socket. Come on, there's that. I'm going to find another starter socket and eventually fix that starter. Cover's on. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got it back together. Let's go ahead and fire it up. And this lamp is not in the socket. I'm having issues with this side, aren't I? This lamp is not in the socket. That's my problem. That's my fault. So let's get them in there. Okay, there we go. Nice and preheat ballast will last forever. Okay, we'll go ahead and mount it and I'll be back. Okay, trying to mount this thing, it was fighting me every step of the way. I got it hung back up, it's kind of crooked. Well, let's go ahead and fire it up. And you can see the amount of light it puts out. It's definitely brighter than it was before. I'm happy with that. So what did it take? About an hour, probably less, to maybe 45 minutes to completely unmount 
convert, remount this fluorescent light.